think he's going to get the better of the torpedo today. I'm not good. I, 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 I think so. I'm not going to be quite as brave as you are, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Chris, Mr. Christopher Gill. Secretly, you know, I was a, I was a wrong athletics at that time as a bit of a coach when Darren Brown was coming up. So I secretly just have that weak spot for him. All right. But I'm a man who goes with racing is time, racing is form, and racing is class. And I think at this present time, the man who has three out of the, who has two out of the three qualities is Mr. Kester Bledman. In lane three, I think he's going to be very, very tough to beat here. But don't count out Brown or Burns. All right, but I, and I looked at Darrell Brown earlier. This is definitely the fittest I've seen Darrell Brown. Look, he, he's lost a bit of weight, but I think he's done the right thing. He's trimmed down. He's looking really fit. And uh, I think he's going to surprise a lot of people um, with his run tonight. I don't think he's going to win, but I definitely think he's going to have a fantastic run. Well, we have eight of the best athletes in Trinidad Amigo lining up here. And, of course, only the top three can qualify for the World Championships in the whole South Korea in two weeks' time. So this is do or die, I or buy. And it's a real late do or die, to be quite honest. We only have two weeks after this for the World Championships. And uh, every runner here is the ticket himself. This is my last chance. So there we see Kalinda. And Richard Thompson is wearing sheets. And trust me, it's not that bright. <laughs> if you're looking up, it's, it's a bit dark, but on the track, it's uh, the lights are on. So Richard Thompson, late six, he'll be next to Canada. And I don't know if that's going to give him a psychological advantage. Richard Thompson, not necessarily the fastest starter, but certainly one that's going to come on towards the end. I don't think the stop and speed will matter here this evening. Of course, he has the longest stride. So top end speed is normally the man who's slowing down. Who is going on the slowest? Who's really going to be winning there? But I think he would not have top end speed to match to my, to my Burns. Yes, Darren Brown. More Brown. So if Richard Thompson is not in front by 60 meters, he's not going to finish on top here. But I think for Darren Brown, what he has to do is get out quick. Darren Brown, if, he's a, if he starts fast enough and is in the lead at 20 or 30 meters, he has a chance. If he's anywhere close at 20 or 30 meters, he's going to win this one easily. But I'm going to think they've got to catch Keston Bledman here this, this evening. Well, Keston has been running the fast times on the year. That 9.93 definitely has given him confidence. Let me see Burns on your screen. I think we were just looking at Ron Sorrello. Sorrello. Yeah, Sorrello. So they are lining up. Is on its feet, they have decided they can't sit down anymore. They have to stand up for this one. Trust me, this is a fantastic, energetic feeling here down at the National Stadium right now. A bit of showboating there by Richard Tokido Thompson. And we have the wind just dying down just that little bit. So we're going to look and see it's uh, hopefully going to be a legal win. Right, so they understart the total. So we're getting ready. Yes, the uh, Bledman signaling that he wants to come out. Now Remember, the new rule with false starts, I believe, is that once you false start, you're out. If the showers tomorrow, a new day. And this is the type of event with the tension here that I think somebody can false start, and that would be very sad indeed. Definitely. going to be a lot of tension. Remember that only the top three goes to the World Championship. But what I like about this is if, if you take the, the, the gravity of the event here and the tension in, you'll have to say that Richard Thompson will probably be the man best suited to this type of atmosphere. Mentally, he might be the best prepared. You know, Mark Birds, Darrell Brown, they've all competed at the highest level consistently. So that's where they, that, that experience comes in. They're going back on the starter's orders again for a second time. So they're under starter's orders. You can hear a pin drop. And they're up. And they're up. 
National 100 meter men final. So they're gonna go to the world championship. My, my, my. And now you have to say that Richard Tom Torpedo Thompson is gonna be one of the favorites in the final. He is gonna be, his name is gonna be the final. <laughs> but when you're running against men like Mr. Gay, who run those time, a Sava Powell, Anna, you say both. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the thing is gonna be the mix up. But of course, the USA board is gonna really cast his long shadow. But you see the time again, 9.85. The times have been adjusted. It's 10.06 for Bledman and 10.07 for Armstrong. Uh, Mark Burns finished fourth in 10.09. Uh, fifth place, I believe, was. And here we have, we have with us Michelle Awai. She has Richard Thompson over it to you, Michelle. I am here with the winner, Richard Torpedo Thompson. They don't call him Torpedo for anything. You beat the record, fastest on this brand new track. You beat Nata Bolden. Only Trinidadian to do it in 9.85 seconds. I could just imagine how you're feeling. It's an ecstatic feeling right now. Um, three years ago at the Olympics. Uh, Arthur told me that I'll be able to run 9.7 and I'm starting to believe it even more. Um, I just want to thank Arthur as well for all the advice he's given me and uh, for him setting the pace for people like Keston Bledman, uh, Darrell, Mark and myself. And you know, we just hope that we can continue to, um, to build his legacy and build the legacy of Trinidad and Tobago sprinting. So it's off to Korea. What can Trinidad and Tobago expect from you? You know, um, well, today was a good race. But two weeks is a, is a completely different league, so I need to refocus and not get caught up in the hype. Um, it was a great run, but I just need to refocus, continue to train hard, train smart, do the things I've been doing, because finally things are coming together. And um, the goal, as I said, is just to make the final, and anything can happen once I'm on the line in the final. Do you, did you think that you were going to beat that record today? Uh, that, that definitely wasn't in my mind coming into the meet. I just wanted to qualify, but at the line, I knew I would go under 10 seconds based on how I was feeling. I felt very good. And 9-8, um, I didn't expect to run 9-8, but I was expecting a sub-10. 9-85, the national record, I'm extremely pleased and satisfied with it. All right, you think it had anything to do with this new track? Uh, definitely, it's a very it's a very fast track. And as you see, um, people like Mark Burns is able to, uh, able to pull it together and run 10 so I'm very happy for him here on Armstrong. And I think we're sending a strong team towards... Um, towards they go. Well, two weeks Korea, we're looking forward to big, big things from you. And again, congratulations. I'm glad you did it right here in front of your whole crowd today. Thank you. Back to you, Gordon and Chris.